Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I am so excited to be back today with another video. It is a bins thrift haul today, which is so much fun. I absolutely love going to the bins, AKA the Goodwill outlet. At the Goodwill outlet, you get a lot of things that either didn't sell at Goodwill or was overstocked from people donating too much to Goodwills, and then they go to the outlet, which is an amazing place where you can find amazing pieces for so cheap. So at my local Goodwill outlet, everything is $1.49 per pound, which is a great price. So everything that you see in today's haul, I paid around a dollar for, which is amazing. You have to do a lot of digging in order to find amazing pieces in the bins, but it is a treasure hunt and it is so much fun. So I love going. When I go, I buy in bulk. I am pushing around huge cartloads full of things that I'm going to resell. And then I have tons of things to show to you guys afterwards. So I have quite a few pieces I have behind me here from the last time I went to the bins. And we're gonna jump in to show you guys what I got. I'll let you guys know how much I plan to resell everything for. But today is a good haul. I have lots of shoes as well. I've been finding a lot of amazing shoes in the bins lately. So that is a great positive because shoes do have, or they tend to have a higher resale value than some clothing. I find a lot of amazing pieces. So I have bags, I have shoes, I have clothes. Let's jump into the haul. Now in today's haul, I feel like I have a lot of bread and butter brands. I have a lot of things that should sell between like $25 and $50. I didn't find tons of designer pieces, but I found a lot of really nice pieces a lot of pieces that their next stop was the landfill after the bins and so it was great to find some really you know high quality pieces that should sell for you know at least 25 bucks not too bad the first piece that I found is this really nice Calvin Klein sweater I do pass on quite a bit of Calvin Klein in general but in the bins I kind of tend to pick it up I actually just sold a Calvin Klein sweater this week for like 30 bucks but this is a nice navy blue little rib sweater. It's a men's size large and it's just a great sweater, great shape. And I'm assuming I can sell this between probably around that $35 mark. That's what I'm hoping for. But again, I picked it up for $1.49 per pound. I'm paying per pound and not per item. So probably right around a dollar for that sweater. Real quick before I show you guys in the next piece, I want to shout out today's video sponsor. So thank you Vendu for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Vendu is an amazing service that I recently found a couple months ago and it changed my reselling business. I reached out to them and we have been working together to partner up and give you guys a great deal on trying out Vendu. You can try it out for free using my link in the description box. Vendu is a super easy way to cross post and that has been really key for me lately. I have been struggling to sell on Poshmark, which was my number one selling platform, but because of Vendu, I've been easily cross posting over to Mercari and eBay and they are trying to help pick up the slack from Poshmark. So it's definitely been a worthwhile investment in my business for sure. I highly recommend it to you guys. I think it is a great service. And also one of my best features since you list on multiple platforms or at least most resellers do, as soon as something sells, you can go into Vendu, mark which platform it's sold on and it automatically takes it down from all of your platforms. I have sold multiple things on multiple platforms so many times. It's such a hassle. That is one of my favorite features. Anyways, if you guys want to try out Vendu, you can use my link in the description box, but super highly recommend. Back to the haul. This next piece is this Levi Strauss dress, which I thought was kind of cute, actually. I liked that it was a nice long plaid dress. I would say it's probably gonna hit knee length, maybe a little bit further down. And this is in a size 1X, which is a great size. So it's got this really nice red and blue plaid going on. We have a collar. There are buttons that go all the way down the front. And it's just a really nice piece. We have a slit here on the side, probably like mid thigh that slit will hit, but then it goes down really far, like past the knees. So. I thought that was a really cute piece. Again, for around a dollar, I will think to resell around $35. But I thought that was a really cute piece. And this will be really good for fall. And I'm trying to look ahead in reselling. I'm trying to look at pieces that will sell in fall and winter now that we're heading hopefully out of summer soon. This might be a hot take, but I hate hot weather. I am so ready for fall to be back. I love wearing comfy sweatshirts like every day if I'm working from home. So I can't wait until it's not super hot. Let's talk about two bags that I picked up. I don't think I've showed these to you guys before. If I have, I'm sorry. They were hanging up here, but this is a Vera Bradley purse, which I think is very interesting. It's a very classy Vera Bradley purse. Just kind of an interesting diamond pattern to it. We have top panels. We also have a crossbody strap. 
and it's in pretty good condition. It feels like it's a nylon bag, and I find a lot of Vera Bradley in the bins, and it's usually, you know, the pieces that are more like their fabric purses with some quilting on it, but I thought this was a kind of cool find, and I saw Vera Bradley purses for like 25 bucks pretty frequently, so I decided to grab that for about a dollar. And then next up is a really beautiful purse. I think this is so pretty. This is a kind of like crochet bag with more like a straw kind of feel to it and then on the front here too it's from lauren ralph lauren this is a pocket made with leather we have a crossbody strap in the same leather top handles and then i think this is really cute this lauren ralph lauren big insignia i think this is such a fun bag i honestly probably should have listed this for like you know spring and summer i think that's a really cute bag i do really well with ralph lauren in general lauren ralph lauren doesn't tend to perform as well for me but it is a super nice bag and it should i think do pretty well i would have hoped to sell this between probably 35 and 50 dollars my might list it around 50 and then hope for the best there's also a pocket on the inside it's like in great condition super gorgeous purse i think this is stunning so i'm excited to get that bad boy listed and hopefully make about 50 bucks from it. And then this next piece I picked up based on style. I thought this was a really cool kind of like cropped sweatshirt moment. It's black and purple with some more kind of like more athletic detailing, that little cross right there for the V. I like the stripe going down the arm and then we have that color blocking here as well. I thought this was a pretty cool sweatshirt. And this is from the brand Without Walls. <laughs> Get moving, have fun, it's in a size large. And I'm fairly confident this is an Urban Outfitters brand without walls. I'm pretty sure, I looked at the inside tag and it doesn't say Urban Outfitters, but I'm pretty sure the address they gave is the Urban Outfitters, kind of like anthropology, that kind of a brand thing. <laughs> but this is in a size large. It's a really cool piece. Again, probably going to resell it around $25, $35, but a dollar into it not too bad and i have pretty good luck selling urban outfitters pieces and i'm pretty sure that the picture of this should be able to pop the colors are really bright then next up we have a really kind of cool piece this is a long jacket but it almost looks like a dress so i feel like it would be perfect for wearing over a dress to church or to something like that a little bit more of a formal event it's a really nice printed piece and this is from the brand Eliza J. Now, Eliza J, I sell pretty frequently and I really do enjoy selling it. It's pretty fun for me, size 10. And they have just really fun, usually printed bright pieces. This is a black and white piece, which is kind of a different kind of feel from what I normally pick up. But I like that it has this kind of elbow length sleeve, a little bit of a flare to it, the collar, these giant buttons up here. There's also one more for right here as well. And it's just a fun print. It's in pretty good condition. There is a little bit of discoloration right around the collar up here. It's a little bit more orange, probably just from makeup, maybe sweat, but my guess is probably makeup. It's just around the collar, but I still thought it was worth picking up. I might try to throw it through the wash, do some stain treatment, see if I can get that out, but I still thought that was really nice. I like the pleating to it, and this is what the back looks like. But I sold quite a few Eliza J pieces for like around $50. So this one I'm going to take through the wash next, but hopefully we sell it around $50. That would be great. Then next up we have another coat. And again, I loved finding coats and jackets like this during the summer. A lot of other resellers in the bins are not going to be picking up things like this that are thick and heavy if they can help it. But I like picking those things up because those generally have a better resale value. So this is a really nice coat and it is from J. Crew. So I was happy to find this. This is really nice. It's like a very dark gray, kind of charcoal gray color, but it's from J. Crew. It's in a size extra small. So this is definitely a men's piece because this is not tiny. It's 80% wool and 20% nylon. And so it's a very nice wool blend coat from J. Crew. I sold quite a few of these around $50 to $100 at times. So I do not like that it's an extra small but it's really nice i love the double buttons and also the collar it's in great condition no flaws no holes really nice coat so i do anticipate that this should sell for over 50 dollars and it is a really nice wool blend piece we love wool it does really well for me if i find it in the bins i generally tend to pick it up you've got to check it over and over again for holes because man bugs moths 
they like it. Now let's talk about some of the shoes I found because I found so many good pairs of shoes and I need to get these listed. This first pair I am really happy with actually. These are a pair of Jeffrey Campbell little flats which I think are really cute. So this is what they look like. Look how sweet that is. We have a pointed toe and then it has that cute little bow detail that comes across. They are by Jeffrey Campbell and they're in a size nine and a half, which is great. And also I think these were originally at Nordstrom um, because they have, maybe Nordstrom Rack, they have this tag on the bottom. It reminds me of the last chance tags I found when I was in Chicago. But these, it says they were originally, I think $110. And they bought them for $32, a 70% savings. But I think these are nice. I bought them for a dollar. It's great. And I sell Jeffrey Campbell all the time, right around 35 to 50 bucks. Maybe for a pair of flats like this. I think these are really cute. And they're actually my size. So I can model them, but hopefully we'll sell them for around 35, 50 bucks. And then I found another pair of flats. These are actually a little pair of like T-strap, kind of thong sandals. And this is from a brand that I looked up because I found these in the bins. I had not really heard of them, but these are from the brand Abeo, A-B-E-O, which I didn't know much about, but the comps looked pretty good for them. I think I can resell these probably between $25, $35. And they were a pair of very lightweight sandals. We got the buckle there, these gold discs going down here. But what I really thought was nice about them is the tread on the bottom. Like these feel like a Chaco, but they're not gonna look like a Chaco, you know? They're gonna look a little bit more dressed up. So I thought these would be a good grab. And these are, and they do, oh, they're made out of real leather. These are in the Baroque style and they are size, I think eight and a half. That looks about right, I would say that. So a cute little pair of sandals and I think they should do pretty good. Hopefully we can make some quick money off of those. What do you say, let's do one more pair of shoes before we move back to the clothing. I have so many pairs of shoes to show you guys today. These ones are a pair of Vera Bradley shoes. And these are in really good shape, actually. I do like to pick up Vera Bradley purses, but I did think that these would be worth it. If I find those little Vera Bradley like um, ID pouches in the bins, I generally tend to pick those up too. These have that kind of like, you know, very beachy feel to the bottom of them. We've got the floral for the straps. Now, to find out what size these are, I, I don't even know. There is like no wear to the bottom. There's some discoloration, but the actual ridges themselves are in excellent condition. And then let's see, there's gotta be a size. If you guys know how to find a size on a pair of flip flops like this, I don't see anything on the straps. I bet there was a sticker on these at one time and now there isn't. I think that's where the sticker was on the back. Um, that's not fortunate, but these look pretty large. I wear a size nine. You know what, I think these are a size nine, maybe nine and a half or 10. Right in there, definitely. But they're really cute actually. I think they're nice. Hopefully we'll resell them around 25 bucks. That might be aiming high. 10 to 15, that'd be good. Now I have a kid's piece and this is for reselling. I did think that this was a good pickup. This is a spider jacket and this is in great condition actually. So spider logo right there. It's a really nice little boy's coat. And this is in a size small and then in parentheses a size eight. So a boy's size eight coat. And I have sold, I think a few different, I think I've sold a spider pair of um, snow pants that are for a little boy before too. So I know that they can sell. I'm expecting probably, you know, like 25, 35 from this. I'm not gonna get tons, but also the spider um, snow pants, they did really well. I think they sold for like, around 40 or $50. So I know that there's a resale market for it. So for an outer piece like this, I'm expecting it to do fairly well. So we'll see how that one goes. And then I'm gonna show you. Ooh, I did not see this when I picked them up. I don't know if I'm gonna sell these now. Ooh, let me know what you guys would do. These are a pair of Franco Sarto riding boots. They're beautiful leather. And I thought they were in good condition, but I did not see on the inside here. This is the only place where this is happening. It is leather and it's in a size seven and a half, but the only place where it has some peeling is on the inside at the top. I hate it when that happens. Maybe I'll try to resell them still and just disclose that because the rest of it is in really good condition. Like nothing's wrong with anything else, which is really a bummer actually. So I thought these were really cute though. 
and I know that riding boots, especially leather ones, can do exceptionally well. This has a cute little buckle. Like, the leather is in great shape. It's just that inside. That's frustrating. So, now I know why they're at Goodwill, probably, but I think that I can still sell those. I think they're nice. Let me know what you guys would do. Maybe I'll sell them for a little bit less. I probably usually list these around $75. So, um, maybe because of the peeling, I'll do like $50, maybe $35. <sighs> That's a bummer. Then, next up, we have a men's Michael Kors t-shirt. Again, probably gonna list it around $25. Got the stripe on the end of the sleeves, stripes at the collar, and this is in a size medium from Michael Kors. Now, this is not his Diffusion line. If this was Michael by Michael Kors, it would be worth less than just Michael Kors. Since it is just straight Michael Kors, I'm hoping to get a little bit more, maybe like 35, maybe 50. If this was Michael by Michael Kors, then it would be less than that. It'd be more like 25 at the max. So, we'll see how it goes. I have not sold a Michael Kors shirt before I have sold a Michael by Michael Kors whole slew of things but um I thought that was a nice pickup it's really stretchy really soft really nice so we'll see how it goes but I think this could do well I like it and then we have this really cool champion piece and this is their reverse weave and I like picking up reverse weaves from them it's in a size extra large I believe this has got to be a kid's piece almost but isn't that nice it's a navy blue maybe it's a, is it a is it a, an adult extra large? I don't think so. I think this is a child's extra large. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't even know. But look how nice that is. I really like purchasing the extra reverse weaves. They have this really cool part on the sides. It's really thick. This is actually all raised. It's all embroidered on, which is really nice. I think the reverse weaves are vintage. I could be wrong, but... They do tend to perform better for me. And then we have the champion at the sleeve. I really enjoy picking up champion in the bins. People leave it all the time, but I saw a champion. We just sold another one this week for like $35. These kind of sweatshirts I sell quite often for around $35. So I don't like to pay up for them, but if I find them in the bins, I definitely will pick them up. And then this is the last piece that I grabbed as, I think it's the last men's piece. This is one of the last men's pieces I grabbed, but this is a just Polo Ralph Lauren long sleeve tee. This is in a navy blue color, kind of a small v-neck to it, and it's in a size medium. I'll probably list this around $25 to $35. Hope at the end of the day to make like 20 bucks, and I do sell these quite often as well. Polo Ralph Lauren is a great bread and butter brand for me, and I find it all the times in the bins. So good. Then next up, we have a J Gel sweater, and again, this is a brand that I usually only pick up in the bins. This is a mixture of 55% cotton, 22% polyester, 21% acrylic, and 2% spandex. And it's this really nice ribbed kind of um, tunic length sweater. It has a nice little slit here on the side. So definitely like tunic length, slight V to it. Really thick and nice sweater. I think this is really pretty. And this is from J. Jill in a size small. I definitely feel like J. Jill runs oversized most of the time, but this is a really nice sweater. I'm hoping to put it up around like maybe $35, hopefully make at least $25 from that piece. Now I'm pretty sure I have not shown this piece to you guys, but sometimes I get mixed up on what things I've shown to you and what things I haven't, and which things I've listed versus shown to you. It's, it gets a lot sometimes, so bear with me, <laughs> give me some patience please, but this next piece is so nice. And it has a stain on it, but I had to pick it up. I feel like you guys hopefully will understand the pain of the bins. This is a gorgeous cashmere sweater has the most fun little patchwork to it it's got all these fun textures to it and the stain I think is right here on the front yep there it is right there in the middle it's such a nice little sweater but this is from black by Saks Fifth Avenue it's 100% cashmere and it's in the size medium so this is what the tag looks like so Saks Fifth Avenue size medium and 100% cashmere I love picking up Saks Fifth Avenue it does not sell very well in my opinion. I only really pick it up in the bins anymore. I don't want to waste any more money spending on Saks Fifth Avenue, but this is cashmere. There aren't any holes. It's just one little little stain on the front. It could use a good fabric shave, but I thought that was a really beautiful sweater. If by some miracle I can get the stain out, I'd hold your breath because I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I think that I could sell this for good money. The cashmere really does help, but I don't know. I might just have to sell it with the stain, maybe make a few bucks off of it, but 
It's such a pretty sweater. I thought that was so gorgeous. Then next up we have another bread and butter brand. This is from Loft. And I picked these up because they are new with tags. So they're from Loft in a size large. And it is this pair of kind of faux leather green leggings, legging pants. It definitely doesn't feel like a legging as much, but more structured than a legging, but also very comfortable and stretchy. I love the green to this. I think that's a really beautiful color. And then this is what the back looks like. They are brand spanking new, so I can probably resell these around $25 to $35. I'm assuming everybody knows what the loft tag looks like, but that is it. And then new with tags. Super cute pair of pants. I think that these should do pretty well, especially since they're new with tags. I end up leaving a lot of loft in the bins if it's not new with tags, just because it won't sell for very much. And then I'll get bogged down by it. So unfortunately, I do leave quite a bit behind. This next piece is a pair of Hudson jeans, and I do pretty well selling Hudson jeans. These look like they're pretty low-waisted. I would guess the rise on this is probably like only five inches or something crazy. But these are in a size 25, and I know sometimes Hudson gives the style name, but I don't see one on this, so it might be an older pair. But this is what they look like. They have a kind of a slight boot cut, more flair to them. This is what they look like. I like that it has the double button. There's the Hudson logo. And then we have it again here on the boot. But super nice pair of jeans. I can probably resell those around $35. That's my guess. But they are a small size, so it might take a while for them to sell, unfortunately. Now, this is what I was talking about before with Michael Kors, their diffusion line. This is part of their diffusion line. This is a Michael Michael Kors piece, but these were a really fun pair of pants. I thought this was a fun pattern. I'm gonna get up close so you can see it. It's a brown and black kind of repeating motif. And then this is the Michael Michael Kors logo on there. And then this is in a size eight. So size eight pair of nice pants. Like this would be a good pair of work pants. And this is what the back looks like. We have those little baby pockets. And then we also have another Michael Kors logo right there. I thought these were kind of a fun pattern. I thought they'd be good for like a school teacher or somebody who wants to have a fun pair of work pants. Thought they were nice. Again, I'll probably sell them 25, 35 bucks. <laughs> That's what we're hoping for. And then this next pair of pants. I forgot I got these. This is exciting. I found a pair of Sewing for All Mankind jeans, which is great. I wish with all my heart that they were the dojo jeans because those, they take me like a day to sell and I sell them for 65 to 70 to $80 sometimes. This is called the A Pocket, and I do have a few of these up. I picked them up at Second Avenue Thrift, and they have not sold yet, so maybe, hopefully these will do well, but these have a flare to the bottom. They are a boot cut, and then they look almost exactly like a dojo jean, except they have an A on the pocket, which I'm not really sure why they do, but they are called the A Pocket <laughs> for a reason. And here is the Seven for All Mankind logo. There's the A Pocket. And then these are in a size 28. Size 28, I think I sold a couple pairs of 28s from Seven From Mankind. I will take that. I feel like that is a good size to sell. So that's probably what, around a size eight or 10? Right around there. Then I'm so excited about this next pair of shoes I found. These amazing Ugg boots. These are a pair of Ugg rain boots. Look how cool these are. Can you see the UGG logo right there? These are a really nice blue color and they are in a size eight or European 39. But these are in great condition. Like the bottoms look like really good. And this is such a pretty color. I cannot believe that these were in the bins. So I love that, but these are gonna probably resell for good money. These are in great condition. They are from UGG. So hopefully I can resell them maybe around 75 to $100. That would be great. Hopefully, we'll get them up for that much. But those were really nice, really good find. Now, these are not in nearly as good of condition as the last thing, but these are also from UGG. But I grabbed these because these are like a little slip-on, um, little slipper. And I think these are in my size, are they? Yeah. Hmm. They are a size nine. They look pretty good. Like, this part looks good. It's just this part is really worn, but also... I'm slightly tempted to keep these for myself. They are kind of in not the best condition. So maybe I'll put them up and put them up for like not very much. I don't know, but also I think that they could be really cute just to wear around the house. Although that's what I always say and then I never actually wear slippers. I just wear socks around the house. Hmm. 
let me know what I should do. Do you guys think that these would sell? And if so, how much? Should I just keep them? Let me know. Then next up, I have a piece that I believe is vintage. It could go the other way, but this is a really cool Nike piece. And I do leave a lot of Nike in the bins because there's just so much. It's oversaturated. But I thought this was a really cool color scheme. I like the light purple with the dark purple and then the embroidered on Nike swoosh up there. And this one is in a size small. Now that I'm looking at it, I don't think that it is vintage because of this tag, but I still thought it was really cool. So I really liked the color scheme and it also has the contrast on the inside of the hood. So my guess is I can put this up around $25, maybe 35, and then hope to make $25 at the end of the day. And then I have had people swear by American Eagle jeans that it is one of their best resellers, that they're reselling them all the time. And I know there's a market for them, so I thought I would give it a try in the bins. This is a pair of American Eagle jeans with a lot of distressing rips, holes along the knees. And these are in a size 14, which is a great size for reselling. 14 regular. I know that they also do talls and all these other things. But these are the high-rise jeggings. And I think that they can do pretty well. Like, I would say I could probably resell these $25, $35. I feel like that's what I say for every piece in this haul. But that's what I'm honestly hoping and expecting to get. For a pair of jeans like this, they're in great condition. There's not any wear between the legs at all. And I really like the color and the wash to these. I think they're really nice. So hopefully again, maybe 35 bucks for those. And then we have a couple more pieces of clothing and two more pairs of shoes as well. So four pieces in total, two clothing, two shoes. This is another Ralph Lauren piece. I really do enjoy picking them up. This is a really cute kind of like sleep dress, sleep shirt. And it is for Lauren, Ralph Lauren. So I really like the cursive little logo here on the breast pocket. I think that's really nice. And then it is from Lauren Ralph Lauren in a size large. So this would be a really cute piece of pajamas. Like to think of this for a little bride on her honeymoon. So sweet, so cute. Honestly, worn open would, would also be a look. Or just worn as a dress. I think you could also get away with that for sure. So I thought that was a really nice color combo. I love this really kind of baby pink and light blue and a little bit of like a teal. I think that's really a sweet combination. Great size, great brand. Again, hopefully we'll be able to resell it probably around 25 to $35, lol. Now let's show you another pair of shoes. This is a very unique pair of shoes that I found in the bins. I thought this was really kind of cool. I love that it has that peep toe, but it also has quite a high heel Then this little like cutout right there. A lot, there's lots going on. But these are from the brand Franco Sarto and they are in great condition. That is what your foot would look like in it. Has that little split down the middle. And these honestly look like they have like not been worn. They are a fabric upper and they are in a size eight and a half or a European 38.5. So definitely thought these were a good pickup. Franco Sardo sells pretty well for me. I probably can resell these around 50 bucks. That's probably what I'll list them at. And they should photograph really well. Like, is that not kind of a fun look to it, you know? Um, but you do slip your foot in, which I'm wondering how you would be able to do that with all of the crisscross. I bet you have to untie it. I don't know how else you would do it, but such a cute pair of shoes. And look at the bottoms, like they're in great condition. So these should do well too. And then the last pair of shoes I picked up are a very interesting pair of clogs. Now, these are really cute. Clogs are super in right now, and I really do like them. And this is from a brand I'd never heard of before, but they really remind me of Dansko's, but also this leather is really nice. They're by the brand Eskills. So clogs by Eskills and they're anatomical. Very interesting. So this is what the brand looks like. These definitely give me the vibe that they're from another country. I'm not sure which one it is, but I don't think they're made in the USA, that's for sure. But these are in a size set. Oh my gosh, it says made in the USA on the bottom. <laughs> That's funny. Made in the USA. Okay, never mind. It definitely can't win them all. <laughs> Am I right? But they're in a size seven. The seven is like carved into the wood right there. They are a wooden bottom. And then this really nice kind of lighter brown color. I think this is really cute. They have a little bit of discoloration from where the clasp is. Like I do think it's definitely from this metal because we have some like weird coloring coming off from the metal but I think they're so cute. Pick them up for a dollar or two. And then hopefully, I think they, I thought that the resale looked like around $50 for these, which is why I picked them up. But with that little discoloration, they might go for less. 
$35 though, that would still be great. But I thought those were really cute and I really like them myself. Okay, now we're on the last piece. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching up until this point. If you have, this is a long haul and I know that you have a lot of things to be doing. So thank you for being here. Now, this is another coat and this is a really nice coat. And it's got lots of bells and whistles, double layers, a fleece layer, some inner pockets, some outer pockets. There's a lot going on in this coat. And it is by a nice brand. This is for Mark New York by Andrew Mark. Andrew Mark does pretty well for me. Mark New York does well for me. Coats like this, I've sold a few from Andrew Mark, I think for around $50 to $100. So to find another coat in the bins is a yes for me. It has a lot of things going on. There's all this nice like quilted interior on here. There are so many good things about this coat. And these are usually really expensive. Um, you know, if you buy them in the store, there's a lot of different nylons, polyesters throughout this whole thing. But it feels really nice and it's in a size extra large. But it feels super nice and it's in a size extra large. I think this is a very nice coat. It feels really high quality. It's a really nice looking black coat. I might have to stick Jeremy in this so that I can model it. But also, even like the little, all the zippers say mark on them. Like it's really, it's really high quality. People took their time when they were making this. This is what the back looks like. I feel like this would be a really cool coat for some sort of like college student. I feel like walking around campus with that on, I think it would look really nice. So I thought that was a great pickup and hopefully we'll be able to resell it around $75. That'd be excellent. I got more than 30 items. I probably spent like $35. It was a great haul for just one piece. If I can sell it around $35, we'll be almost breaking even. That would be great. I have not that much into these pieces and hopefully I can 20X my money. If I could 20X my money, I'd be a very happy camper. And I know that I'm going to be able to get the most out of my listings by using Vendu and cross-posting everything that I have here today. I'm also going to use it for delisting because those are my favorite features. It's definitely worth checking out. Thank you, Vendu, for working with me on today's video. If you want to check them out, follow my link down below. It is so worth at least trying it out. Try it out for free. You don't even have to put in any credit card information. And I really do believe in their product. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give today's video a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and until the next video, bye.